Before I even start on these sentences, I have some words I recognize in the answer choices. However, you probably use that word every day, but it is basically a fancy way of saying but. Uh, in many cases, that one's a little weird. Maybe that's, I don't know, just what it means in many cases. Uh, as a result is kind of a longer way of saying so or because, and additionally is just kind of and or also. So ca categorizing those words might make it easier to understand what's going on so we don't kind of get all caught up in the fanciness of the word and just like focus on what it really means. So let's take a look at these sentences, see if anything jumps out. For years, biologists have experimented with using grime-eating bacteria rather than harsh chemicals to clean artworks, and results have been impressive overall. These bacterial strains, which can metabolize centuries worth of oil, glue, dirt, and other surface impurities without creating harmful byproducts, have proven more effective than traditional chem chemical cleaning methods. Well, I don't know, this seems like a positive sentence, and so does this one, right? They're saying how these chemicals work, that they're good, right? They uh, are not using harsh chemicals, so impressive overall. That's, you know, kind of a double negative and then a positive, so that's a positive idea overall. And then they do all this, they get rid of all these terrible things, these impurities. So remember, they're removing impurities, that's a double negative, but it works like a positive, uh, and they're more effective. So there's definitely clear positives here. So that'd be weird then to use a choice like A, because However, is a contrast, and if we have two positives, why are we using a contrast? So that doesn't make any sense. Um, as a result is the one that has like more meaning, right? So that kind of means the cause and effect. So the results have been impressive. So these strains have proven more effective than traditional chemical cleaning methods. Well, I don't, I, I don't, I don't see a cause and effect there. It's not like they're have proven more effective because they're impressive overall, if, if anything, it maybe seems like it should be the opposite, that the, they are impressive because they are more effective than traditional chemical cleaning methods. But the way that so works, it, we can't kind of flip it right like that. It, basically, the cause has to come first, and then we sew into the effect. And this, I'm stretching it even to make it fit, but it, it's still backwards. Is like the I guess the cause is that they're shown to be effective and then the the effect would be that they're really good and people think that they're really good like it just doesn't make sense so this is not the right answer this is just very very strange now additionally is basically a, a fake transition it doesn't really do anything at all basically just means that we're going to continue whatever thought we had so it doesn't add any real meaning here so the only reason we pick it is if nothing else worked. And that's usually how you wanna approach words like additionally or moreover or furthermore. They're only right when everything else is wrong. So let's take a look at B. It, it doesn't have like a nice definition, but let's see if we can, if it fits. Uh, for years, they've been using this bacteria and the results have been impressive. In many cases, these strains um, have proven more effective than traditional chemical cleaning methods. Well, I guess that makes sense, right? I mean, in many cases, it sounds like it, it, there's some cases where it's not, but that's okay. Uh, it just sounds okay. It sounds like they're kind of maybe supporting the idea that was in the first sentence. And that feels like a little bit more meaning than D would bring into the mix. And so that is why B to me is the right answer. But I think this is a very difficult question. I don't think it's obvious that B is the right answer. I'm mostly getting this because I've experienced. I know how these questions work. I know that additionally is really only gonna be right if, if in many cases were really bad. And it does seem to fit here. Like, okay, they've experimented with it. So there's experimentation going on. And in many of those experiments, in many cases, it seemed to be more effective. I don't really know what to say. It kind of just fits. And, and I'm kind of getting there by trimming the sentence. You might have noticed as I'm reading it, I'm like removing these, these extra clauses. I'm kind of cutting out some adjectives a little bit. I'm removing that double dash so that I can kind of make more sense of the second sentence. So these are all tools that I have to just cut down until I get to some like heart of the question, some real core meaning that they're trying to get across. But I think it's hard here, um, but this is a major strategy you're gonna need for these transition questions is the ability to categorize the words, be uh, unaffected or unafraid of words that don't fit the categories, but also to be able to kind of recognize that the categories have like a hierarchy. And the and category is kind of the weakest one, and it could be right, but it, it's got to really be because everything else is wrong. Words like moreover, furthermore, additionally, they don't really add anything. So if we have another alternative that adds something that's, you know, that's helpful, that's going to be the better way to go. It's not really that D is wrong. It's more that just B is better. And I don't love it, but that's just how these ones work.